Hello and welcome to Analyzer Shorts, the series where we show you bits and pieces of Analyzer Pro, the software for traffic accident analysis to inspire you in your daily work as a reconstructionist. Today we're talking a little bit about collision analysis, um, specifically here about collision analysis in the momentum forward method. There are several ways in Analyzer to deal with uh, collision and uh, yeah, let's start with this one today. So I'm opening the module collision analysis and the first thing I always have to do is I have to place the vehicles in their assumed collision position. So since this is a crash test, it's fairly easy um, because we have positions marked on the ground. Please note that I'm not placing the vehicles in a moment of a first touch but rather in the moment of the deepest penetration. This is of course depending on the damage you can see on the vehicles and so on. We're using momentum equation here, so uh, we are pinning down the collision itself to uh, one idealized point where we can um, apply the momentum calculation to. So what I'm doing here is I am yeah, giving a first estimation um, about position. So, and also first estimation about speeds, let's say maybe 40 versus 40. We don't know that yet. And I'm automatically setting the impact point, which is the idealized point. And you can see the vectors uh, of momentum, the vectors of speed of the impact point before and after the crash. And uh, what we can do now is we can already press, press play. So what will happen is cars will move, well, in some direction, but obviously not the right one. And also they're going very by, by far too far because we haven't applied any braking on them. So I'm opening simulation data. And in simulation data, we can adjust like different kinds of post-collision behavior, steering, braking, tire conditions, uh, friction between road and wheel and so on. And what I'm doing now is I'm giving them a certain amount of braking in percent. Let's say, I don't know, 50% braking here and there. And uh, I can press play again now we still see that they are not going in the correct direction, um, but at least better than before. So now comes the difficult part uh, in this method, and that is trial and error. So what we need to do is we now need to alter our values and see how um, the change of these values influence our calculation or our end result. In order to speed that process up, we have a button called Delta T over here. So when I'm clicking on that, I can see the initial position, but also the final position. And when I now, for example, change values here, you can see how things change in the result. And I have to do this now with all values. For example, also with the K value that indicates the um, like stiffness of the, of the collision or no, the elasticity to, to be precise. I have to do that with the uh, collision tangent. So uh, this green cross that indicates in which direction the forces apply. And as you can see in this case, they apparently have a very large influence. And as you see, 
as I'm progressing with altering my values, I'm getting closer and closer to the desired final result. I can change to breaking maybe. And you can also see, depending on the situation, certain values have a large influence and some values have a very small influence on our outcome. Of course, you can spend a lot of time on this, but I'm getting there. Okay, this is looking good for the blue one. Red one is, well, not 100% perfect, but let's say for now it's good enough. You can press play again. And see how the cars beautifully move into their final positions. And then to finish this, we can click on export. What export will do is it will transfer our calculation directly into our kinematic window. And one of the largest advantages of Analyzer Pro is to actually be able to combine collision analysis, so dynamic calculation simulations with kinematic pre-collision analysis. So what I could do now is I can add some kinematic pre-collision, for example, a braking behavior uh, here, and you would automatically see how the driving line gets longer, maybe the other one, constant one, and we have automatically a pre-collision behavior. That's it for today. I hope you liked this series and I wish you a lovely day. Bye-bye.